So I'd like to start by saying thank you to Magma for lending me this, but also to highlight to everyone that this is not a sponsored review. Um, I'm under no obligation to say anything about it. So I just want, this is my personal opinion of this. Hello Troglodyte Tribe and welcome back. This week I'm going to be looking at an amplifier by Magma Amplification. At the guitar show earlier this year in Birmingham, I stumbled across Magma Amplification and I met with Ben and John and we had a little chat, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But having spoken to the guys recently, I did say it would be lovely if I could hear one and have a proper play with one. So they've lent me this for the weekend. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, it is just beautiful. Um, it's so nice looking. I even bought a new shirt so I didn't look scruffy next to it. Um, so I'm going to play that chat now and then after that, let's have a play and see what it sounds like. Hello Truck and Light Tribe and welcome back. We are at the guitar show in Birmingham, the UK's largest guitar show and I'm glad to be speaking to Magma Amplification where I've got Ben and John and we're going to look at some of the most stunning amplification cases and just beautiful woodwork. So if you could just tell us a little bit about what it is you've got here at the show. Yeah sure, well uh, John and I originally kind of built these about eight years ago but it's just taken a time to get off the ground Obviously the last few years we haven't had much sort of movement and stuff okay. but this year we like we need to make the effort and really push it so Brilliant. it's our kind of major launching year getting things really rolling now and so this is we're, we're fairly new to this world okay uh, but uh, yeah we're kind of so is this your first guitar it's show? It's our first the... proper big guitar show. Uh, amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. and you find it good? Yeah it's, it's been exciting. Brilliant so there you go. <laughs> so yeah um, but yeah the original idea was to have something that Potentially, you could have in your house sort of a domestic uh, product as well as something you could potentially take into the studio, right. maybe at the stage. Yep. Um, something that yeah, could live side by side with other furniture, potentially, and not look out of pa place. It's not of. just a black box in the corner of the room. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, you know, we want to lower domestic violence and make sure people <laughs> don't get upset. Yeah, with, you're more uh, likely to be able to get away with this being in the in the living space. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, Just make sure you move the, the price tag before you uh, get it home. So, brilliant. Yeah. So, talk to us about. Let's let's focus in on this one here. So, yeah. So, like this is obviously the back of like the um, like the standard amp head. So this amp head is the same, they're both the same amps, uh, but this is obviously just showcasing the back of them. Okay. Um, so they're all kind of like handmade, hand assembled, hand wired amplifiers okay. made by us. Um, this one's a slightly different version, just in the sense that we've kind of really gone for the whole home aesthetics minimalist tuck everything away so that's kind of like completely being closed Brilliant. um all of these like fronts and whatnot can be totally interchangeable okay so we've got a range of all of the colors and fabric so if you really want them, then all of that can be completely being closed yeah. nice tidy. so when you redecorate the room when you redecorate, you redecorate the, room, the amp you don't <laughs> need to change <laughs> your amp there you go uh, all your suits Brilliant. And it is one of those things that I know that me and my wife have talked about a few times is that maybe the aesthetics on some of the amplifiers could be focused in on a lot more because they have stayed as a black box. You know, they kind of have just stick, stuck to that world. And, yeah. and as you're playing more and more at home, and the sounds are wonderful now, what you can get in yeah. small amplifiers. Um, but it doesn't necessarily fit within the house. And yeah, exactly. yeah, this seems to be a problem that you're definitely solving. And it, yeah. it is stunning, it is a piece of furniture. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, the amps are 18 watt. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're not going to destroy them? Not going to destroy, yeah. no, you know, you smash your windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the neighbours too much, yeah. um, should be fine. But they've got a real crisp, clean tone. Okay. Um, they've got pretty much zero break up all the way up to nine. Okay. So you can kind of dial it and you will get that warmth of the ground oh, yes. without yeah, having it on like 0.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, perfect kind of home studio or living room kind of amplifier. Ah, brilliant. So there we have it. Removable parts, you know, all magnets. So you've got all different colours that you can change it to. There's different packs. This is it naked. This is with the colour. Just grab, grab a green one and just literally whatever you want it to look like. It just snaps on and you can just change to any color that you want really really smart idea it is furniture okay so this doesn't have handles this is not designed to be moved around all the time this is just something that belongs 
um, in a home or in a high-end studio. So let's have a look at the front panel. You have on off switch, you have treble, then bass, then middle, and then volume. You'll notice that there isn't an input jack on the front. It is that clean. It is just designed just to be there and just be smart. So the input jack is on the back. So let's have a look at the back. Um, there you go, you've got the input jack and then you've got your speaker out. Now you've got variable uh, ohmage on here, so you can set it up for two cabs, four cabs, one cab, whatever you want. Um, and then you've got your standard power and little fuse. Just really smart looking. So we've got two cabs. What I'm going to do is when I play through it, I'm going to record both channels. I've got just a standard SM57 on both of them. And I'm going to pan the top cab to the left and the bottom cab to the right. So if you've got headphones on, you can see if you can uh, hear the differences. So the top cab is an open backed with a uh, Celestian Vintage 30. And the bottom cab is a closed back Eminence Cannabis Rex. You can just un unbolt the back and make it open or close back. It's completely up to you. They do do a variety of different speakers that you can choose from. This is high-end boutique amplification. Handmade, hand-wired in the UK. Um, so when you order it, it is going to be four to six weeks before you get your hands on it. But you know that that one is made specifically for you. So it means you can have a conversation with them and go, I would like this changing, I'd like that speaker in it. So that's really, really smart. So you can have it exactly the way you want it. So let's have a listen to it just as a dry, straight sound. So what I've got is the volume is on. Now let's just turn everything to 12. That's just really smart and clean. So I'm just gonna crank it up a bit. So now here we go. Now we're on, I'd say nine. It's so dry and so clean. It is just a very pure sound. So I'm just gonna mess with the dials a little to get it the way I like. So I always play with reverb, so I'm just gonna throw a small reverb in front of it. This is a Telecaster Deluxe. It is uh, in the middle position. I've got both front and back pickup roll back to about nine, and I've got both tones roll back to about seven and a half, eight. And I've got the amp on full whack. Okay, so let's see how she sounds. is really nice it's very smooth I mean there's no mushiness going on there you can hear the individual notes not sort of smashing against each other on that low end which is nice there is not a touch of distortion coming through there Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that is super clean. All right, let's crank the guitar all the way up as well. So the amp's on full, and it's loud in here, right? That 
is just really smooth. That low end, that is beautiful. I don't know how this is going to come through on the mics because I said like it's just, I've gone with the whole just super basic to a 57 in front of the speaker. But in the room, the air that's moving. just ringing sit and play on that for hours just like dropping that low e hearing that roll through and then just noodling proper pot noodling how about now if i let's play with the volume because one of the things they told me when i met with john the other day was um what they're really proud of is how smooth everything is so let's have a give it a go well it feels quality you know there is no wiggle or movement or anything. So I've turned the volume down now to zero, as you'd expect. Nada, right? That's exactly what you want from a volume control where it's just smooth all the way up. Every other amp I've got, right? It goes nothing, 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 nothing on, right? And so, and I'm always fighting to find that middle ground where I can actually find a usable volume for the home. All the way. Super smooth. So, what does it sound like with some distortion on it? Because this is going to give you zero distortion. I'm getting... N I'm not that's not breaking up that is just a pure smooth clean loud but controllable volume um, sound so i have very little pedals i rarely use pedals apart from tuner and if i haven't got reverb a reverb i have a wah wah in my board but that's purely because sometimes you just need to wah wah and then the holy grail for me my tube screamer Let's pop some dirty noises on. Now, I don't ever really have it super dirty, but this is uh, now with the Tube Screamer on in the mix. See how it handles the low end? Yeah, nice. Beautiful. I know it's distorted, but it still feels clean. And I don't know clean, but it's not the word clean is not the word I'm looking for. Pure, I think, is the word. I'm Try like dirty, thin sound. Let's 
throw some boomer bands on the back pick and let's see what happens. <laughs> Right, okay, let's try front pickup. Oh, meaty! So, that's tight! to this guitar i'm sorry <laughs> all right just an experiment i'm gonna go tone all the way off volume up full front pickup and it's the muddiest this guitar is gonna get and again it's holding it oh it's, it's no breaking up on the speakers aren't doing anything nasty the amp is just giving you lovely a lovely pure sound stop making the video and just play for hours um their, their website's got loads of information and you can get into all the nitty-gritty what each part is and all that kind of stuff it, you just want to play it it's lovely it, it's just to describe it is it's doing what I'm playing if you know what I mean it's not coloring it it's not trying to make me sound better or worse it's just it's doing what I'm putting into the guitar it's making pure and loud but controllably loud it still sounds great at that lower volume to say it really it is awesome right what would i wouldn't i do with it well i wouldn't i wouldn't gig it right i would not take this to a gig a it's quite heavy and b it's not a gigging amp if i wanted a table on stage i wouldn't take a beautiful dining room table with me would i no i'd take a small table that's that can move around and get bashed up you wouldn't take this treat it like furniture it is furniture high-end furniture you have something else that you don't mind getting scratched and knocked and uh, for gigs for startup it's got no handles it's never really been designed for gigging i don't think um i might be wrong but i don't think so it belongs in a really nice home environment um or a studio because the sound it, it, the, the sound is backing up the looks and that's the bit I think I'm really impressed with 
I knew I liked the look of it when I was at the guitar show, but the sound is just immense. It's so smooth and rich and it's got volume, but it's got the ability to have that smooth and richness at a lower volume, which you can actually control. Um, I think this in someone's living room, if you're a guitarist who you come home from work, you've got 15, 20 minutes before um, you have to go and do something else. You've got to go and drop the kids off or something like that. You had something like this in the living room and you had 10, 15 minutes spare. You can probably get 10, 15 minutes of guitar playing in. If you can't have an amp in the living room space or in the living space because it's just an ugly black box, then you're not going to grab those moments of joy by just being able to plug in and play. Um, so I think for the right people in the right homes, this is going to be the difference between somebody really can, being able to continue with their passion and playing regularly, even if it's for small snippets of time, um, versus, well, I can't go and get all the amp out. And, you know, it's just... I think this for the right people this is really really good. Mm -hmm.